Hi, I'm Tanner, TransWest Truck Trailer RV here in Frederick, Colorado. Today we're gonna go over an inventory unit. This is a brand new 2024 Cimarron North Star. This is a four horse gooseneck. Really cool trailer. It's got some upgrades on it, but not all the options. Um, if you've been down to Stock Show, we're down at the National Western these next couple weeks. Um, we have a really loaded out version of this four horse if you wanna stop by and kind of see all the options we can do on them. This one's got a few of those options. Again, not as loaded out, so it's got a better price point for you guys, but again, still a really nice trailer. We'll start off here at this front tack room. We have a 42 inch wide door on this front tack room. We like to go with this extra wide door on the, this front tack, especially when we do this swing out saddle rack. So by going to a 42 inch door versus a 32 inch door, it allows us to still have our saddles on this rack and still be able to walk past those saddles. So you're not having to swing the saddle rack in and out if you need stuff out of your tack room. So that 42 inch wide door is really handy. And then by doing that 42 inch wide door, it allows us to still mount these blanket bars to the door itself. It gives us enough room to do so. So you are gonna have a four tier blanket rack on that door. It is swing out as well, which makes it really easy after you've had a couple sets of uh, blanket saddle pads on here. You can still get your other two or three on with ease versus fighting a door. Below that, we have our three compartment drainable brush tray. It is compartmentalized into three different compartments with the drains built into each one. So again, if you have fly sprays, show sheen, anything like that in here, especially on these cold mornings um, or that winter weather we get here in Colorado, stuff tends to freeze and crack and leak on you. It will contain it to those three compartments and let it drain out so it doesn't get all of your stuff nasty. Inside our front tack room, fully carpeted drop wall, fully carpeted gooseneck deck, down low up into our gooseneck area. We do have a split boot box, again, fully carpeted. The inside will have a carpeted floor, so a great area for some storage, and it also serves as a nice little step up into your gooseneck. If you're storing some stuff up there, or if you're weekending out of this thing, have a mattress up there, anything like that, you'll have that nice step to access up there. Behind me on our driver's side wall, we do have a shelf. It is a lip shelf, so you have about a two inch lip in here with a rubber bottom, so again, Anything you throw up there is not gonna roll off while you're traveling. That lip will contain it. That rubber will keep it from kind of moving around. So a great area to store stuff as well, whether it be hat boxes, boot boxes, anything like that. Down low, clothes rod hanging below that shelf. Good place to hang slickers, show clothes that you don't want you know, on the floor or hanging in your pickup in the way, especially if you're hauling a bunch of people to these rodeos or shows. And a great place to hang you know, starch jeans, starch shirts, stuff you don't wanna get messed up. On our partition wall back here between our stall area, we have bridle hooks high, bridle hooks low, and then again, fully carpeted behind those bridle hooks. We like to fully carpet behind bridle hooks, at least behind your bridle hooks. That way it keeps your bridle looking nice and it's really gonna help deaden that noise between this tack room and the horse area from your bridles banging on that wall. Your horses are gonna haul better the quieter you make it for them. So by doing this carpet, that allows us to do that. In our corner here in this dead space behind this swing out saddle rack, we do have a 25 gallon corner water tank. Again, it's in that dead space. You're really not gonna be able to store anything in there anyway. So we like to use all the space we can available. We give you guys a water tank. You can take water from home with you. Some horses are picky on the water they like to drink. Um, or, you know, winter time, a lot of places will shut off their onboard water, whether it's a fairgrounds, gas station, anything like that. But with this case, you'll always have water with you while you're traveling. Above me as we walk out, we do have an LED light in this tack room. Again, you're gonna have plenty of light to be able to see what you're doing. And you'll see just how easy it is to squeak by that saddle rack. I can do it, the camera can do it super easy, so it's super simple to have that saddle rack out and still be able to walk past it. So we work our way down the hip side of this trailer. One of the big upgrades on this four horse is, is we went to full drop windows on this hip side. Standard from Cimarron is gonna be drops on your head side and sliding types on your hip. So it is a decent upgrade to go ahead and do drops all the way around, whether it be on your head side and your hip side. It's really gonna help move a lot of air. Um, not something we're so worried about in the winter time like this morning because you're probably gonna have your trailer closed up trying to keep those horses warm. But again, in the summertime, those hot summer days, if you're stuck in traffic, sun's beating down and you're not moving a lot of air, by having these big drops on this hip side, you're gonna move the maximum amount of air possible. And then the cool thing about them is, is you do get a little sliding type window in there as well. So again, colder morning like this morning, maybe not as cold, but still chilly. You can throw these windows up and open your little sliding type, still move a little air, keep it ventilated in there, but again, not completely freeze your horses out if it's a little cooler. We're a 610 wide trailer, so we have our full length running board with the exception of where that fold down step is on the front tack. We are on two 6,000 pound Dexter rubber torsion axles. These are the black with, alu uh, black with aluminum accented wheels. And then you will notice green tabs on all these tires. These are nitrogen filled tires. 
great morning to talk about it because we're below freezing this morning. We'll probably get up in the 40s this afternoon. So again, these tires aren't gonna fluctuate as much as just a normal air tire would. We're gonna have to worry about your PSI dropping when it's cold and then going back up when it's warm. The nitrogen is really gonna help balance that out to where that doesn't happen. It's really gonna add to the life of these tires, prevent blowouts, prevent flats, prevent you from having to replace your tires as often. So move around to our load side of this trailer. This is a 60-40 split rear door. The cool thing about doing the setup on a 60-40 is Cimarron makes a folding rear tack. This trailer is not currently equipped with it, but it's super easy if you guys did want some more tack space or maybe a little wall right here to throw some hay and stack hay. We can easily go in aftermarket and add a folding rear tack on this 6040 setup. The floor in this, it's probably frozen to the floor, which it is, so I can't show you, but underneath these rubber mats, we do have Cimarron's aluminum floor. It is a four inch centered aluminum floor. It is a grooved weldable. All your welds are on the underside, so you'll never see them. It's really clean look. And again, with that four inch center, it is the strongest floor you can get in the horse trailer market. We currently just have rubber mats on here. That's the standard option from Cimarron. If you're down at the stock show this week, go and check out all our trailers we have on display. Every single one of them down there has a product called Worm Flooring in there. That's one upgrade I'll always suggest to customers. Um, it's a great product because you never have to worry about pulling these rubber mats. And again, you're never gonna have to worry about your floor going bad. It's an aluminum floor. If you're not regularly cleaning it, that urine can build up and start causing you know, uh, deposits, which can eventually erode at your floor. By doing that worm, you're never gonna have to worry about your floor going bad. You're not gonna have to worry about pulling mats and putting mats back in. It's just a great product all around. So we're down at the stock show, check all those trailers out. In this trailer here, we do have a solid type, full stud wall for our stall number one. This is standard in a Cimarron trailer. You are gonna get, if you go anything above a two horse trailer, you are gonna get a stud wall as standard. Of course, you can order that without a stud wall. Solid type dividers as standard, meaning that you're gonna have a solid type up top where all your horse's heads go. Another option we can do is a bar type, which is again, it's gonna kind of slap these about every four inches. It's again, you're gonna help start moving that air for you guys. We do have a trailer on display down at the stock show if you wanna check out that option as well. Additional option we did on this trailer is we do have padded dividers, both on our stud wall and our two parcels in the back. Front stall of this trailer, we do have our escape door, which again, if you go anything over a two horse trailer, you are gonna get that escape door as standard. It's a great place to store stuff. In an emergency, you can jump your horses off here, but especially with that stud divider set up, it gives you a great place to store hay, grain, totes, anything like that that you don't want getting underneath your horses, but you don't necessarily wanna keep in your front tack or in the bed of your truck. It's a nice little area with that access door to keep everything nice and easy for you. Roof of this trailer, standard Cimarron product. It's an insulated roof no matter what model trailer you order, whether it be this North Star, a Trans Star, a Lone Star. Any model you order is coming with an insulated roof. Again, it's gonna keep about 20% warmer in here in the winter months and about 20% cooler in your summer months. So it's a great product. It'll reflect that heat in the summer and then contain that heat in the winter. Full two-way roof vents in this trailer. You're gonna have one for each stall. Again, you can situate these both ways, either pull air into this trailer or pull air out of this trailer. So again, manipulating airflow is one big thing when you're looking at trailers. You wanna look at trailers with bigger windows, more adjustability in your windows, whether it be having drops and sliders, plexiglass that you can move around and kind of manipulate how the air, how you need to for the day ahead. On our hip wall here, we have LED lighting. We have two OptiBright lights. Should give you guys plenty of light in this trailer. It used to be a standard, or it used to be an upgrade to do these OptiBrights in these Cimarron's. They now have since thrown them on as a standard option in all their trailers. So it's really cool. Cimarron, oh, they strive to be the best, whether it be through their customer service or their trailer options. So by making stuff like that standard, they're saving you guys money. You're not gonna have to worry about, hey, did I get that option on there? Because 90% of the time, they're gonna have the best options already equipped in their standard package. Along with that insulated roof, if you do go with a North Star model trailer, which is our horse trailer style, um, you are gonna get a fully insulated stall area. So your walls are insulated, your ceiling's insulated with that roof. So again, really helping moderate that temperature for you guys in these trailers. Up high on these rear doors, we do have an eight inch awning load light. So again, giving you guys enough light to load and offload this trailer safely. Light, uh, license plate uh, light, and then of course your brake lights, stuff like that. Cool option we can do, this trailer is not equipped that we can throw backup lights on these trailers. The backup lights are super cool. They're synced to your truck. So you throw your truck in reverse, it's automatically gonna turn those lights on and you're gonna be able to see behind your trailer and what you're backing into. Our head wall here, it's gonna look really similar, of course full length running board, same wheels, 
You will have the same drop windows as your hip side with the exception of these have your jail bar inserts just to keep your horse from sticking their heads out, kind of keep some road debris deflected off of your horse. I really like them because they're super simple. If you're feeding from the outside of your trailer, if you like to tie while your horses are traveling, but then you have a horse that likes to back out as soon as you open your dividers, you can easily untie them from the outside and then go offload them. But again, super simple to run these windows. They're big, heavy duty, square framed windows. They're not prefab or anything like that. Super stout and they're super great product. Above that, 16 inch awning light. Forgot to mention, we do have another one on our tail side or tail side of this trailer as well. And giving you guys plenty of light no matter which side of the trailer you want to saddle off. Here's a good outside view of that escape door. So again, you can see just how easy it would be if you had three horses loaded in the back and nothing in your front stall. You can easily access hay, grain, totes, whatever it may be. Pull it out the store, feed your horses, do whatever you need to do without actually offloading your horses. In that escape door, we do have a smaller drop window. Again, it's got to be a little smaller than our big drops just because it has to fit within the frame of that window. But again, you have a nice little drop with the same jail bars in that escape door as well. Up here at the front of our trailer, it is a standard single speed drop shoe jack. We can go ahead and we can upgrade that to an electric hydraulic after the fact. If you guys are ordering a trailer and you're thinking, hey, I might want to do hydraulic jack, but I'm not sure. If there's ever a possibility you think, yeah, I'm gonna add it in the future, I suggest adding it while you guys are ordering it from the factory. It just comes out a little bit cheaper from the factory, but we can 100% do it to any trailer we have here as well. Over here to our left side, we do have a matching wheel and tire to the rest of the wheels and tires that are on the ground. Again, we like to keep you guys looking good. If you have a flat, you have a blowout, we shouldn't be on a mismatched wheel. We shouldn't be on a mismatched tire. You are gonna get a matching wheel and tire as your spare to the rest of the tires on this trailer, which is really cool. Finish off up here at our nose, we have our new 25K BMW coupler that Cimarron and BMW kind of collabed on to make for these trailers. The reason we did it is typically you want to have this bottom most hole on this coupler. We run into a lot of issues where a lot of people are using polar trucks like our Freightliners um, nowadays, and you just need kind of that little extra couple inches to make that trailer ride perfectly level. So by doing this low pro handle here on this coupler, it allows us to get one more hole to help you really lie level on those higher bed height trucks safety pin through the coupler we have your breakaway cable your safety chains and then of course your seven pin ran back there into its little housing again this is a 2024 Cimarron North Star this is a four horse gooseneck you're 610 wide 71 tall if you're interested in this specific trailer the stock number is 5N231383 again if you're interested in this trailer maybe some other four horses we have if you're looking for a three horse or a living quarter or if you want to custom order your own trailer Again, feel free to give me a call. My name's Tanner here at TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick. Phone number is 303-684-3409. If you guys find yourself in Denver anytime over the next couple weeks, feel free to stop by the National Western Stock Show and check us out. We got a bunch of cool trailers down there on display with a lot of cool options you don't typically see on our inventory trailers. So again, thanks for tuning in. You guys have a great week.